family how y'all doing on this wonderful friday evening i'm recording at 8 26 p.m eastern standard time zone here in atlanta okay yes it's cold as dirt out there oh my goodness it's cold like i was in denver colorado or alaska now i'm being a little bit embellishing the uh story a little bit but god it's cold out there okay and i'm gonna tell you nope i didn't do no exercise today no i didn't because i had to meet with some roofers today about putting a new roof on the home and then i had to go get a chainsaw because i'm gonna be working out in the yard tomorrow hopefully if it don't snow uh because i don't live nowhere near the mountains but we get like some dust or snow some flakes here and there but I'll be cutting some trees before it's time for springtime to come in and bloom and bring all those big old bumblebees that seem like they want to tear up my garage door by them you know, taking their stinger and trying to make holes in the stuff. Oh, it's just a hot mess when spring comes and everything starts to bloom and bring all these different kind of bugs. Okay, so we try to alleviate all of that from the front part of my house. And we're going to get some um, little trees that have grown up, pine trees, you know, them pine straws that we left all the way around the world. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to save my energy for that tomorrow. And with the cold, ooh, child, y'all know I suffer from sinuses, so it's going to be a tale, a mighty good tale that you know I'll probably come back and kiki with y'all about and all that good stuff. But we're coming. You know, seeing how everybody's doing, how everybody work went, uh, work week went. Uh, thinking about the uh, highs and the lows of this past week and thinking about future weeks to come. And all of just seems so daunting. So why don't we just take it one day at a time? That's what I'm going with it. Let's take it one day at a time. Breathe in. Breathe out and just let all your cares melt away, okay? But if your day was good, okay, fair and different, however you made it through, okay? And if you're going through your day because you work day, night shift or something like that, that day will be over. Hopefully before, what, midnight or midnight going into the wee hours of the morning. You made it, you made it, you made it, Okay. But I hope everybody's in fair spirits, if not good spirits. But I want to thank the Jasmine brand for that little photo. Got Kenya and Mark out there, I think, in the airport. Or hell, me might have been strolling through some mall. Who knows? Trying to make like they all that and then some. Okay, meaning a happy couple. And it might be true. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not one of those believers. Okay? But it just is what it is. But we're going to be getting into a story or article uh, from Reality Blurb um dot com and i'm trying to see if they give me somebody who wrote it cynthia cook i believe is the journalist over there bringing out this fantastic worthy story to be put on our platform and for us to dialogue about it and this that and the third and we got some shout out announcements so we're going to just put the little article to the side. And we're going to shout out a few people that I saw in the chat that were new. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by, coming over, sitting the spell with us. And dialoguing all in those comments and stuff. You know, Miss N-K-N-D, thank you for stopping by. Read your comment. And I really want you to elaborate on what you said when you said spiritual marriage not legal. But this is what you felt Kenya Moore said. Can you elaborate a little more? Because I'm trying to understand it from that point of view. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, uh, if you're in the Bible, Moses brought out the law of marriage and divorce and all that kind of stuff. So, um, spiritual marriage... Uh, where are you going with that? I would love for you to dwell in that a little bit more in the comment section so I can get a full understanding. So I won't dismiss it as, okay, all right. I don't know where you went with it, but okay. When you talk about spirituality, I like to know where people are coming from. You know, let me open up another avenue of seeing how other people think. You know, I'm not just one-sided. I'm just not biased like most people put me in the basket of doing so. No, 
no, no, no, no. I'm far from it. Okay, I'm a well-rounded individual thinker, and I can see many viewpoints and speculations. However, I still have my own, and I stand fast at it, in it, and be ready to represent it and defend it at any time. Okay? So, um... Let me see. Elizabeth Slacky. How you doing, babe? Did you decide to stay or did you decide to go? I don't know. Are you a friend or foe? Let us know. I see my Marcel White had to step in. Now, I told you, Marcel. Mar Marisol, stop that mess, girl. But you know you know, I love you to the core. Yes, I know you defend me. I defend you. But some people, you just got to let them say stuff. Get it off their chest. But as I've said... This is not the video. I made one video for everybody to partake of, say whatever you want to say. But Elizabeth Sackey wanted to come and say, you know, I was not being professional. I'm not, I wasn't being fair. And this, that, and the third. I'm like, no, Elizabeth, you're not making me make my opinions known. Now, I don't get on nobody when they get in them comments as long as they're respectful to everybody. I tell everybody, don't go for people that are commenting in the comment section because they have a right to be here just like everybody else have a right to be here. They have a right to express their opinions, okay? We're just not going to go at each other, you know? Like I said, I wanted um, NKND to elaborate a, a little bit more on what her comment was. Like, if you're not understanding something, uh, you need a little bit more clarification. It's okay to ask, to dialogue further, to understand where another person is coming from. But we will not, we cannot go after people in the comments or even come after me saying what I should, what I shouldn't be doing. Okay? Like Marisol so eloquently stated, it's my platform, okay? I made it for entertainment purposes only, for people to come in, sit down, and talk shit, okay? Because so we're so structured and we're so professional in our professional work lives, we don't know how to be anything else but that when that time is needed to be done. But when we at home, we shooting the shit with family members or good buddies or good friends or whatnot, however you look at it. But when you look at it over here and my channel, we the family fam. I have the house. I invite y'all to come in. We kiki, we hug, we kiss, we cry, we uplift each other, we motivate each other. But we don't get on each other's nerves. We don't have time to be fighting against us. Hell, there's too many people opposing us in the real world than when we're here at the home, the house, the family affair. No, we need to come together and be united. We don't need to be tearing each other up in the comments. So whatever y'all feel personally about me, hell, you don't even know me, really, okay? But really what I'm giving y'all on my channel is really how I act on my daily basis. You know, it's a professional side to me. It's a loving side to me. It's a you'll get fucked up side to me. Uh, you'll get told where you can come and go side of me. It's many different facets of me. Depending on how I'm feeling that particular day and what environment I'm in, Lord have mercy. That's all I can say. Lord have mercy. Okay? But... The platform, again, is spent for us to come together as family. Okay, we're not foes up in here. When you come knocking at the door, I have to ask you, are you a family, friend, or foe? You know what I'm saying? If you're a friend, then you're family. Come on in, sit a spell. Let's talk some shit about what's going on out there in the world. You know, I could, could talk about this coronavirus, but I think it's been talked about too much out there there and we don't know where it uh, really got started was it made in a lab and they just unleashed it on the population because they want to depopulate the earth okay because they saying it's too many people living too long and we ain't got enough food the food supply is going here there and everywhere so they want to depopulate so what better way to do to kill the masses you know if you would allegedly is put something out there okay put something out there in the atmosphere that people can breathe uh touch whatever and then they get sick and die that's just how evil society leaders have gotten these days i'm just saying not all but 
it's a fair amount. So when you come over to my house, I ain't got time for no people that be, well, this, that, that. You don't know these people. I know them. I go over and be on their platform because they have mm-hmm. them. Kenya has a nice Instagram platform. She don't talk to you like I do. She don't try to find out how your day went. You know, things of that nature. Home body type nature. No, you just following her on her social media platform. She say this, that, and third. And y'all just all just clean to her like her shit don't stink. Same thing for Nene. Same thing for Candy or any other reality star out there. Now, if you really think about the reality star, my family, what are they really giving us on their shows? Okay, it's mindless entertainment drama. That's the only thing we can just cling to and just get our key keys we talk about their demeanor i mean i'm only talking about what they give me on tv or if they are acting out crazy out in them Atlanta streets and people got footage because people love to take selfies they love to videotape things that are happening live and plastered all over social media so hey if can you or Nene or any other housewives are acting crazy out there and somebody got their camera rolling, would you not know that that's really how these folks are getting down in their real life? That's telling me you get down like that in your real life. Now, of course, it's always several sides to a story. You got one side for the defendant. You got uh, one side for the plaintiff. And then you got the truth in the middle where somebody got to mediate and see who wrong. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, don't come over here with that shit. I don't want to hear it, you know. And half the time, I don't want to like, cause it don't. It be like half nasty, half nice type of situations. But when you start dragging my real ride or die family members in, and they have to get up there like Miss Marisol, then that starts to affect me. You know, I'm feeling like you more of a foe than family. So my thing, Elizabeth Sackey. If you want to comment anything bad about anybody on the platform, family, or myself, okay, go over to the other video that I had designated for gangster keyboarders. Okay, do that. Because next time something goes off with a comment, when I see it, it's going to be exit, excommunicated, demoted, perished. You know what I'm saying? You get the drill, baby, and you're no longer welcome. All right, so... Just for me to tell you that, still got love for you, but just tighten it up a little bit, okay? Don't want to know about anybody that may be uh, in the comment section saying something about your fave you don't like. Just talk about what I put out there and what's being said. Don't attack nobody. Damn sure don't keep coming for me, okay? But like I said, you had some good attributes to your comments. So I didn't want to slowly just delete you without giving you an explanation. All right. And I see Samantha Williams back in there. I don't think I'm going to say Sam. Just, you know, you know, slide carefully. Val Williams the same way. Slide carefully. Um, and I want to say special thanks out for coming to the channel. Janet Robinson. Cor- Corliss Ho- Holly. Delicia Dispute. This Muke, Diva D. Girl, what you talking about? Talking about Real Housewives hard to watch. <laughs> Girl, this life is hard to go through. The, the many ways it takes us. This is just entertainment drama we talking about. I don't take these people serious. But like I said, for the ones that do take this uh, reality stuff serious, they love on their Kenya more, they love on their Nene Leaks or Candy Birds or Anna. These folks, if you really want to see them act how you want them to be betrayed, tell them to go on a soap opera. Okay, because then we know that ain't true. We know it ain't, well, it's all scripted. They, it's written out for parts that they have to recite and bring their own flavor to it. Tell them to go over to the soap opera world. Then people such as myself, they give commentary on their demeanor and actions on the show will be well-rounded, okay? Because I don't have to really go over there and do soap operas, even though I've done it and I've gotten a lot of nice hits off of it, but it just got to be too mundane for me. You know, I'm like, nah, I need to see what other people are doing or they living their so-called life, you know what I'm saying? Because it's back and forth, cheating with the all the family members and stuff. That's only happening in a soap opera world, but it could be true because they got to get their storylines from somewhere. But see, this is a reality show. 
what they're telling us is supposed to be somewhat real with a little scripted stuff in there just to embellish it to make us keep coming back. Now, see, that's my perspective I take on these reality shows. So whatever you give me, you show me, I'm going to be believable. This is how you act. So I'm going to critique you on what it is, you know, because like I said, nobody's forcing you to be on a show like this. You want that fame. You want that funny fame fortune and you want that quick money to live the lifestyle that you've always dreamed about probably when you were growing up okay so that's why i come for there then we got a it's, i think it's ojb uh, og baby dd uh you had said something about looking the same no sometimes people can look the same from growing up from their childhood from teenage years college days and even um in their glory days they could still be pretty much, if they kept their weight under control, same weight, same whatever, they can look the same. Now, for us myself, no, I was like a size 5 when I was in high school. After I had my first and only child, I blew up to a 16. And, Lord, it's, uh, the heaviest I've gotten was a 22 woman. Okay, 22 women. I ain't went up further than that. Don't plan to because on my short body, it's just too much. Okay, like I'm struggling now, baby. But what I'm saying is... Don't get too twisted on what I'm saying about uh, a person. That's my viewpoint. That's my perspective. I'm going on another whole train of thought. Just like I don't go and say whatever you put on now about Kenya uh, or whatever. I ain't trying to defute your uh, comment or uh, debunk your comment. I'm letting you have your comment. I'm reading it and I'm moving on, such as everybody should, okay? Because everybody have a difference of opinion. Um, but thank you for coming by and putting that in, but uh, tread lightly, okay? Tread lightly. Then we got uh, Kevin A. Glad to see more men up in here. Um, let me see, Natasha. Morgan, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for your support and all that you're giving me. And is it Francisca E. C. Moni? I maybe tan your name up, but it's a beautiful name. It seems like it's Italian. So thank you. If you're over there in Italy, you know, France, getting over there looking at me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come back off and bring some more friends. They can come family members as well. I love it. I love you all. I really do to the core. Okay, but sometimes, you know, we have to have these meetings of the mind. We have to tell people where they're getting off track. Okay, and I think it's a Canyon Wilson. We are too interested in the show. You made that comment. Uh, no, we're just interested in what they give us. And we have to pretty much uh, make our opinions on it. Because that's all I said. It's all about opinions, speculations. Just how they used to say when you go into the barbershop, just barbershop talk or beauty shop talk. We just family affair talking over here. We don't know these people. I don't care to know these people. But I do care to speak my mind when I get good and, and darn ready to. You know what I'm saying? So, I tarried a little bit too long. We just wanted to set some uh, ideas of what's what. And, you know, like I said, freely express yourself. Yes, do it, do it, do it. But tell me what's on your mind, okay? But tell me what's on your mind when it comes to the subject matter and not how i'm giving it to you okay so we're gonna go on and get into this story like i said cynthia cook wrote it out for her uh, company she works for which is realityblurb.com she titles her article real housewives of atlanta star kenya moore's husband mark daily apologized as kenya removes daily from her instagram profile and we talked about her so-called removing her name i think it's a pr stunt just is what it is good salacious stuff to come up to promote upcoming episodes for her to play the victim and all of this that and the third uh but let's get on into the article it says mark daly the husband of the real housewives of atlanta star kenya moore is apologizing following his shocking comment and a preview clip for next week's episode as kenya removes uh last name from her instagram profile although the reality star and her husband mark separated last september kenya moore 49 suggested recently that they might be working things out however it appears mark's behavior on recent episodes is making that rather difficult the significant tension going on between the couple has been on a clear 
has been on clear display this season and came to a head in the most recent episode regarding their disagreement about whether Nene Leakes should be invited to his charity event. Also during the episode, Mark made jokes about Kenya being submerged in water after they took their daughter Brooklyn to swimming lessons and later scolded her in front of her co-stars over her desire to not have Nene at his event. Now, sidebar people, y'all know... The uh, com uh, <laughs> it's a comment he made about submerging Kenya on the water, and that was a little bit too impersonal. But given the fact that he lives with Kenya, they supposed to be speaking their truth. Why would Kenya want to stay with a man that feels total disdain for her? Okay, he wants to see her floating underwater, gasping for air, and he not want to do anything about it. You know, he just want her to go on and pretty much perish under the water, okay? As far as he's concerned, and then he might pull her back up, give her mouth to mouth resuscitation, and say, how you like me now type of scenario. Now, like I said, Kenya... You know better. Do better, baby. If the man is not really your cup of tea, you wished he was, you don't care about what people think about you. Go on and allegedly divorce him if you ever got married from the get-go. But like I said, you could walk away from him right now and it wouldn't be no litigation needed to be had because there's not anything such as a marriage a license on file for you to claim you need to get a divorce. I'm just saying. I'm speaking my mind, okay? Um, uh, going back to the article, it says, although Nini ended up being invited, the petty still entered the party as Mark was called expressing his true feelings about his marriage. Okay. Um, it said, and are you enjoying the ride that comes with being married? Someone offered or someone off camera asked Mark. Uh, and Mark's reply was, no, I hate it. I hate it. Everybody knows that, Mark responded. Now Mark seems to be reacting to the clip and apologizing, but only to the black man lab, okay, for whom the charity reception was hosted. The Atlanta-based organization is centered on creating safe spaces for black men to network and have fellowship. According to Mark's apology, the event should have been focused on the organization and not Real Housewives of Atlanta drama. Now, I do believe that. Was that the time and place for him to say, I hate my marriage i despise kenya more this than a third yes and no if he wanted to uh gain uh or garner more drama and suspense for the show which was boost the ratings out the wazooka then he played his part he did it well now to just say what it was by him not apologizing to kenya and saying all those awful things that he don't want to be married yeah kenya that would be the uh the straw that broke the camel's back honey yeah you need to be not walking around here in atlanta in an airport or in a mall swinging uh your hands with them okay because you kind of making your fans or the people that do view you uh, as good stock, you're going to make them mad if they find out that you pretty much played them and tried to garner sympathy when no sympathy needed to be because all of what you've been showing us has been truly endear and act. Now, what you going to say when your folks really find out what you did as far as gooping them with the storyline? Do you think they're going to come uh, and be in your corner after the fact? Mm, you might just have... Put the nail in your coffin of ever becoming the OG, the real HBIC of the Queen of Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, I'm just saying, not in this article, my sidebar girl. Then it says the Soko BK restaurant owner took to Instagram where he disabled comments to issue an apology to the organization saying, unfortunately, my genuinely my genuine attempt at doing something positive was compromised by my personal situation. But for that, I sincerely apologize and take sole responsibility. I want to thank all those involved with the Black Man's Lab for their support after the event. And my thing is, Mark, you said you wasn't too much on social media, or you kind of alluded to us that you're not on social media, period. You don't be like that on social media. Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt since it's on the SoCo BK, okay? I'm going to give you that. It's not daily. It's not Mark. It's not like it seems like it's a personal Instagram account. It seems more so like it's a business uh, Instagram account. So, I'm going to give you that, okay? I'm going to be open-minded to that because I'm like, 
you should see the stuff Kenya be posting on her uh, social media platform then, okay? Which I think you do. You just keep it on the low. But anyway, moving back to the article. Um, it says, many fans pointed out that Mark's apology did not include his wife, Kenya. Real Housewives of Atlanta fans also noticed that the hair care mogul recently dropped the daily surname from her Instagram and Twitter pages before her before Kenya had her name as Kenya Moore Daily, but now it simply says Kenya Moore. Okay, yep, Kenya Moore. Kenya has yet to comment on the changes, but she will likely have to address it during the upcoming reunion, which is set to uh, air in March sometime. I don't know if it's the second or third week, but we should be coming up. Because I don't think they shouldn't have, but maybe two more episodes or two more Two or three more episodes and then they should be finished. But I think it's probably like maybe two. Uh, but we, we have yet to see. We'll be there. Yes, we will. But what do y'all think about that? Honey, look at that picture. Them supposed to be in swinging here and there. And is Mark wearing a do-rag out there in public? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay. But, you know, y'all y'all understand where I'm coming from. So, y'all get down in them comments. Interact with each other. Y'all think Mark tripping? Is they Mark tripping or he just fed up with Kenya Moore and her mess? Did he play his part well that she wrote out for him to play and he just want his money? He was ready to bounce and get back to how he once was living prior to meeting Kenya Moore and getting into all her schemes. Y'all, let's catch up. Talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Just tell me, tell me what's on your mind, okay? So, um, yeah. I will see y'all next video. Be nice in them comments. Okay? Be nice. That's all I'm saying. Be nice. All right? Because I hate to dismiss people. I really do. But if you ain't my family, you my enemy. Okay? My friend of me. Well, hell, we, you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't no friend of mine. Okay? Don't like no backstabbers. Don't like no people that want to, you know, come in and be chaotic and disruptive when we sitting at home talking our own shit i mean if you just have to put it in your mind when you come over to the platform okay i'm at home i want to let people say what they got to say this that and third because this is where the platform you just let it have okay you just talk about subject matter this that and the third if you come with that you're gonna be cool you're gonna be all right but if you come with something else you just gotta get blocked okay you gotta be thrown out the house but once no you should never return okay so y'all be nice y'all be blessed and i will see you next video don't forget to subscribe uh tell others to come subscribe and uh share and like my videos okay because it's a family affair we got to be shown out there y'all we got to be talked about okay because the people just keep coming but hey again are they friends or are they foes? Do they really want to be a part of the family affair? Because we got good people over here. We got good people. We don't take shit over here. We get tired. We get tired. So we just going to have to start doing what we got to do. But we want to say thank you to the Jasper brand for letting us use that little photo of hers. And any other people that we may get out there and use their pictures, okay? Because I couldn't find them. And when they, they uh, one that I can definitely use, got to shout them out. But Jasmine Brand, or the Jasmine Brand, have her own vlogging site. Go check her out over there. She brings out a lot of good, salacious stories. As well as reality blurb from where I got the article tonight and we were discussing. Alright, so y'all be blessed and I'll see you next video. Good night.